And now, your local weather authority forecast. While monsoonal thunder showers have been forming in western parts of our viewing area, skies have remained mostly clear in places like Midland and Odessa. This is a live look at Odessa early on your Wednesday morning. We do notice the top part of your screen, the full moon, shining very brightly, very clear skies, dominating the skies right now. A little bit hazy out there, but generally pretty good visibility, pleasantly mild right now across many in the basin. Satellite and radar showing the clear skies the farther north and east you go, but the rain activity has been the big story in western areas. Most of that rain activity dwindling down. We had quite a bit of lightning strikes much earlier this morning and later yesterday in places like Carlsbad and Hobbs, but that rain activity has also dissipated along with uh, lightning activity diminishing as well. Very clear skies in eastern areas that allow for temperatures to skyrocket in a pretty big way in those areas, including Midland, Odessa, Big Spring, and Big Lake. Most of the clear skies, 76 right now in the tall city. That sun rises at 7.03 a.m. That moon sets a little bit after that south breeze at five miles per hour right now 43 percent relative humidity right now 60s right now in marfa upper 60s lower 70s in and around alpine mid to upper 70s in midland and odessa high 70s low 80s from the trans is down near the rio grande and presidio heating up in the upper 80s lower 90s from pine springs Manhorn, marfa and alpine where they're more likely to see thunderstorm activity Upper 90s, lower triple digits in much of the basin where rain activity much less likely. Mostly sunny right around 101 today in the tall city. I think that model slightly underestimating our temperatures. Make sure you guys have the sunglasses because of the sunshine. Stay cool and hydrated because of the seasonally hot air. Winds picking up from the south southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour, supplying the heat up, but also the humidity in the atmosphere. Winds picking up in the next couple of hours out of the south southeast, generally at 10 to 20 miles per hour from Midland, Odessa to Fork Stockton and then switching a little bit more from the east-southeast in Terrell and Brewster counties. Those yellows and oranges indicate that southerly winds a little bit lighter in the Trans-Pecos where thunderstorms will really pick up those winds in far western areas near El Paso as well in the mountainous terrain. Most storms ending overnight, mostly clear skies in the 80s in Midland Odessa with winds lightning from the south-southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now speaking of that rain activity, forming right around 1, 2, 3 o'clock in far western areas, cloud development a little bit farther west because of those southerly easterly winds pushing that monsoonal flow a little bit farther westward compared to what we saw today and we s yesterday and much earlier this morning. And we're going to be seeing that rain activity start to dwindle down in intensity with leftover clouds tonight into tomorrow morning. Later tomorrow, though, that cloud cover a little bit farther eastward, still hot at 101 tomorrow with winds coming more from the east, supplying a little bit more of a humid pattern. Your mighty wash, car wash, seven day forecast showing the still seasonably hot air today and tomorrow. Slight chance of storms on Friday, but that sunshine really heating things up this weekend. Make sure you guys stay weather alert by checking in with our chief meteorologist, Chase Menendez, tonight at 5, 6, and 10.